Hello everyone and welcome to Lemon Engineering. In this video, we are going to look how a conversion divergent nozzle works, which is also called as a D-level nozzle, and it is a very primitive design and we are using it since very long time, and it works. So it is the most widely used type of nozzle for rocket propulsion, and this nozzle was first developed by a Swedish inventor D-level in 1888. For first, it was used for a steam turbine, and later the for the rocket propulsion, it was first used by the Robert Goddard in the United States to make a rocket to propel into the space. And this is very simple to understand and the, way the phenomenon that describes the working of the conversion diversion nozzle is the Venturi effect in the fluid dynamics. If you are familiar with fluid dynamics, you would come across a effect which is venturi effect and the bernoulli's principle in your curriculum or you might have learned it in the mechanical engineering course of fluid mechanics so let's see what is a d-level nozzle so this is a conversion diversion nozzle and it basically consists of three parts first this part is converging section and this is the throat part which is the narrowest of the narrowest of all the sections of the conversion diversion nozzle and again it its area is increasing which is known as the diversion section so first combustion chamber is here somewhat here and the fluid which is exhaust gases from the combustion chamber that enters the conversion section and we can see there is a decrease in the cross section of A and according to the Bernoulli's principle there is a decreasing in cross section that means there is a decrease in pressure energy not pressure this is decrease in pressure energy not in the pressure so decrease in pressure energy and because of the law of conservation of mass there's gonna be a increase in the velocity of the fluid so we reach to the throat section and there is the maximum velocity because of the reduction of the cross section here so we get maximum velocity of the fluid in the throat section and then we come then we come to the divergent section of the nozzle here again the area is increasing so that means the pressure energy is increasing so there is a reduction in the velocity so, and mainly here it is the, the as we can see here decrease in the velocity and increase in pressure because kinetic energy of this fluid that was flowing through this is converted into pressure energy and we get an immense amount of pressure here as compared to the ambient pressure let's say ambient pressure is of an atmosphere and we can up to get here 300 400 bars here so this pressure differential caused the flow to extremely accelerate into this divergent section and go out of it this is because of the conversion divergent nozzle so we get the maximum amount of thrust and we can propel our rocket into the space by using this D-level nozzle so let's see the practical applications of the CD nozzle as we can see here is the massive Saturn V rocket that took us and Neil Armstrong and Russell into the moon and created history so these were employed with these five aerojet rocket dyne F1 engines, these massive beasts. And as we can see, these are all the conversion diversion nozzles that were employed in this spacecraft. And this legendary man, Dr. Werner von Braun, designed this rocket. So huge respect for him. So nowadays in do the supersonic aircraft's engines such as this F-18 Hornet by Boeing. This uses two F-14. F414 General Electric engines that creates a greater, which is considerable amount of thrust to propel a fighter jet. So these, in these also, they use conversion diversion nozzles and to their afterburners to really vector the thrust output of the airplane. And the pilot can use it accordingly whenever he needs that oomph, which is called as a thrust. So this is a great application in nowadays also and. Yes, these are the applications of the conversion divergent nozzle. This was my video on CD nozzle, which is also known as a D-level nozzle. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really need it. And also, if you find any query about my explanation in this conversion divergent nozzle, you can always comment and I reply all to my comments. And I hope you like this video and you got to know how a conversion divergent nozzle works. And share it to your friend if you think he might need this, need this. 
so see you soon in the next video and please subscribe to the layman engineering till then goodbye